Right, let's get to it. I weighed in on Monday at 95 dead. Today, I'm 93.5, woohoo. But obviously, that's not all body fat lost. Some of that will just be water, some of that is just me cleaning up my diet and my body obviously reacting. So we're on Friday, on Monday, my weight has went 95 on Tuesday, it was 93.9. Felt like a big win, but again, obviously that's not all body fat. Wednesday, 93.5. Thursday, 94.2, not so good. Today, 93.5, so that's good. Obviously, I have not lost a kilo and a half of body weight in that time. Some of that is water. Obviously, some of it will be body fat as well, so good progress. I'm happy with that this week. Obviously, you know, if I could just run that forward in another three weeks and be at my goal, that would be fantastic, but that's not going to be the case. I'm going to tell you now what I ate this week, and I will write it down in the description below as well. Breakfast, it is 100 grams of porridge with three scoops of chocolate protein. So for lunch, I have one sirloin steak, with a turkey and spinach omelette, three eggs. For dinner, I have one packet of basmati rice with 400 grams of chicken breast. Something is 450, but for right now, we're saying 400. And then for my final meal, I have 300 grams of Greek yogurt with 50 grams of blueberries. I should say also that the chicken and rice has asparagus, spinach, and peppers cut through it too. So some sort of veg or fruit with every meal, obviously. And I also take vitamins in the morning. I will also include them in the description. So that meal plan, I was aiming for around 2,400 calories. That meal plan actually brings me in at around 2001, so I'll probably add some because that's already for a guy my size. I'm 185 centimetres and I was 95 kilos. Those calories are extremely low. I'm going to actually get it up to around 2400, so I've got some distance to come down. But that meal plan got me 2100 calories, 248 grams of protein, which I'm quite happy about. I'll probably keep it around that area. 157 grams of carbs, 51 grams of fat, 15 of those are saturated. And I've been aiming to drink, well, I have been drinking between four and six litres of water a day. Generally, four or five. I drink a lot of water anyway, habitually, so that really hasn't been much of an adjustment for me. And I'll keep that up throughout. I'm not going to go extreme. I'm not going to be like, you know, when a fighter is doing a weight cut or when a bodybuilder is doing their final weight cut and they're drinking like eight litres of water a day. That, that's not practical. I'm already peaking quite a lot right now. Come tomorrow, I will have worked out six times this week and I'm doing 10k steps per day. I'd let my steps fall quite a lot before I started the diet, so now I'm going to be consistent with them and I will be incrementally adding to them week on week. So next week, I'm going to do around 11,500 per day. So I took some progress picks on Monday and I'll take more on Monday and I'll have those for you on the next vlog. However, I'm going to change it up to doing them on a Friday to coincide with this vlog. Please let me know in the comments if you want me to actually give a detailed description of the workout something. I'm assuming you do. Just let me know if there's an appetite for that and if there is, then next week I will have detailed workouts in the description too. Mentality. I think obviously the inception of every diet is motivating initially but it can be quite disheartening when you're on Wednesday or Thursday, you're quite hungry and obviously you still look the exact same. So, <laughs> like it's just that it's just that initial bit, you know, when you start any new venture, you're excited, you're pumped up, you're motivated, and then you get a little bit in and you're like, well, this is a bit harder than I thought, this is gonna take a bit longer than I thought. Just remember, as I am focusing on, that is all part of it. Like I say, you hear me say it all the time, it doesn't matter if it's a diet, a business, anything like that, voices are always gonna come in. So I personally just prepare myself for them. I'm gonna think, this is pointless, this isn't gonna work, this is too hard, you know, it's gonna be years and years and years till I'm in shape, but that's all your brain, or my brain, just trying to preserve stasis, trying to stop me expending energy in case a saber-toothed tiger comes over the hill. But I don't think there are many saber-toothed tigers in the west end of Glasgow. So, I was ready for the voices. If you are on a similar venture right now, I can only recommend that you get ready for the voices too. Super useful tool. I don't know if you've got YouTube Premium, I would definitely recommend it. I got it and I was like, I got the trial month and I was like, oh no, I'll, you know, I'll just do the trial month. It's super, super useful. I am listening to motivational videos all day, every day, and there's always just little nuggets in there. Just There can even just be one thing in a video, you're like, yeah, that's practical, that's applicable. The guy I usually listen to is a guy called Ben Lino Scott. Again, I will detail in the description some of the sources I use for motivation. When I'm doing cardio or when I'm doing steps, I tend to listen to quite high tempo music. But I have to say, all that being said, although obviously there haven't been any great aesthetic changes this week, you can see my veins standing out slightly more, I've got slightly more vascular, my body just feels slightly tighter. That might just be a placebo effect, I'm unsure, but although 
a diet can feel like a real mountain to climb. You get lots of little wins along the way, so you don't just go from zero to 100. There's lots of little wins along the way. So that's it for this week. As I said, please let me know in the comments if you want detailed workouts. I will be happy to oblige. And that's it. Thanks for tuning in. Honestly, I cannot articulate how much I appreciate all the support. I got hundreds of messages about the diet. So as I said, I'm not willing to just be another guy in the 30s who looks kind of muscular, kind of out of shape. It's not happening. Yeah, let's do it. I'll see you next week. Thank you.